Hello and welcome to Hadoop Exam Learning Resources. In this session, we'll be covering CCA 159 Cloud Era Data Analyst Exam Problem Scenario 19, uh, which will be uh, on the based on the group by functions and joining, denormalizing the data kind of thing. So this is the data section where you can copy the data which is needed kind of thing, correct? And uh, table structure is given here so uh, I'll go through this and there uh, please denormalize data between department and employee table based on the uh, for the de department number okay and count the number of employee in each department and print department name and its count okay so this is the table structure department table is this structure and uh, will be inserting this record in the department table and uh, similarly for employee table this is this structure and this will be insert the record so in the real exam you will be getting more data and data will take time to get processed so this is like but the concept and everything processing everything remains same so you don't have to worry about this you just take little more time so you be cautious on this so like because they will give you the millions of records and for us to give the millions of records is difficult so we have given sample records here and you can process this data so let's go here and see this we don't have already created employee and department table so we are going to create it so I'll use this uh, query here to create the employee table just name of the employee and uh, I'll use the syntax you have to write your own query so you would be very well acquainted with the like things to be done in the exam so as comfortable so I would suggest whenever you are practicing this practice all questions together if even if you have done once before exam so if you have done all the practicing within like uh, 15 20 one month or something so once you complete this do do this before all the questions again and uh, remember all the commands and do the manually so you would be very comfortable with typing with the commands and all these things and all things remain in your mind correct so as more as much things in your mind it would be faster to uh, give the exam because time matters a lot during the exam okay so now we have created the table so I just say select star from employee table so oh sorry okay, this is not helpful Ta -ta -ta okay select star from employee okay so there is no record in this so now just insert the statement I'll be using you have to create the insert statement as they have given date in the string format and you want to convert into the Unix timestamp so it's exactly helpful because date needs to be stored in the timestamp format or date format that would be a good so here we are using hard date as a timestamp column so we need to convert to the time uh, the string to this Unix timestamp first and then for home Unix time we will be converting this to the value so this is the functions I Again, available in the hive and impala you will be using to convert string into the timestamp and storing so I'll write uh, so many insert statement so this is the insert statement I fire and uh, now select star from employee from employee table we should be able to see our dates and uh, um, commissions and all these columns okay who is what is the manager ID what is the employee ID kind of thing now next create the department table they might not ask you to create the table or depends uh, like they might ask okay or they might not ask okay that all depends on the problem statement so now we'll be inserting values in the department table so these records we have st uh, st uh, inserted now select the data from the department table okay so this data is inserted now please denormalize between department and employee table denormalize means flattening correct so you will be like having one side employee data and another is department data it will flatten so flat to join will help so wherever the department name matches we will join the record so very simple join this is actually like wherever the department name and we'll select all the columns so this is where we we'll do the normalization and I'll pray uh, fire this query and you can see like uh, this department based on the department number 
we have joined and uh, what is the department name and what is the location uh, of the uh, user is uh, we are printing here correct so there, there is no department name in this table employee table only department number so in which department this user is so we can use a department name and this is the job what is the job ID and I think this is coming from the here only so this will we have done the flattening of the data now count the number of employee in each department and pr print department name and its count it's very simple you have to use the group by functions for each department uh, so you need to understand basic what is group by functions and kind of thing fundamentals so you can understand this uh, okay so I'll not go through this what is the group by or something will be create a separate training for the data analyst completely so you can use those training for this purpose okay so let me refile this query and uh, okay so sales department has six employee research department has five employee and accounting has the two two employee so this way we are printing the like uh, wherever the department number is matching so and how many department uh, employees in the each department so that's about uh, business problem statement 19 and thanks thanks for watching this is uh, like uh, you can this is the site and this is the URL from where we will be publishing our all the trainings uh, with the CCA 159 related videos of this uh, and uh, kind of thing and you can get the paid subscription from here uh, by clicking this uh, uh, CCA 159 tab and if you have any query just give a call on this number or you can just drop an email on this ID and don't forget to subscribe here just click here it will bring you to another URL and where you need to put your email ID and uh, name so okay so you will be subscribed and whenever we do any update you will get the information of the uh, update because we are keep adding new question in the existing simulator based on the syllabus change or we find some feedback from the our learners or something who appears in the real exam so based on this we will create a new practice question and bring uh, put into this so thanks thanks for watching and I hope you like this session and if you're watching on YouTube don't forget to subscribe on YouTube